Hello, my name is Henry and on this video we're going to talk about some investing. We are looking at the personal cycles of an investor and I use my own personal cycles as an example. And then we are going to look at the investment week from January 14 to January 18, 2019. And we are going to look at some predictions and how did we do on those predictions on that week. So, welcome aboard. Okay, first of all, I would like to mention that this is not considered to be investment advice. Make your own decisions based on facts, not fiction. And that way you will become a better investor in time. Okay, first of all, I would like to talk to you about personal cycles of an investor. So, what are these personal cycles? You would take a calendar year and if you are, let's say, an investor being in the market for years, you'll know when you are tired. It's just not a random thing. Some people are winter persons. In winter time, they have lots of energy. I'm not like, like that. Uh, I'm more of a summer person. My favorite times of the year uh, when it comes to productivity are spring, summer and autumn. But on winter time, especially middle of the winter, I'm tired. So on January, I usually plan for the next year. What I'm going to do, are my systems working? How can I make those systems better? And I look at usually what I do, what I have done and what I have learned from the last year. So I can make the next year a lot better. Usually I do it this on January just because on January I am usually a little bit wary just because that's my personal cycle. We need rest. We need sometimes we need to rest and this uh, comes, uh, this applies also to the, if you think about monthly, monthly cycles, how are your monthly cycles? Women usually know they have cycles, so they can prepare beforehand what is going to happen in their life for the month. But like men, we have our cycles as well. You have to be pay attention, let's say on a, on a regular basis, on a weekly level. How about Monday? How did you get your week started? Are you exhausted? Maybe you should wake up a little earlier. What I do, I do uh, usually a couple times a month, I do fasting. So I don't eat anything within a day. And I do that if I feel exhausted. So that energizes me. For the rest of the week, I am uh, a lot more energized. If I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't be that more energized. So we have to lift up our energy. Okay. What about those random cycles that, uh, let's say we have a family, let's say we have friends, we have gatherings, and we know they are coming up. So we know that our personal cycles can be a bit harder to execute at those moments. So we put those special events on our calendar. If there are parties, if there are some, let's say there's a baby coming, well, now you have to prepare for yourself. This is a personal cycle. Let's say that you have some sickness, disease, or you have to do something which is not that pleasant and it means that your income is decreasing. Now you have to change your plans. And this is about personal cycles because let's say you go to a doctor and you have a certain disease. Well, it means the doctor gives that, okay, within three months, this is over. If you do this, these exercises, okay, you do the exercises, maybe took some pills. And if you are more into natural medicine, that's okay too. But now you can prepare, prepare for beforehand that, okay, in the, within these next three months, I am not at my perfect level. So I can prepare. These are personal cycles too. You put those times in your calendar and look at how you're going to execute. You'll always look at your calendar because 
that's the way you can prepare for the future. And that is the number one thing usually when it comes to investment decisions that you, you can prepare for the future. And this preparation starts from you. Okay, let's look at the predictions that I made considering the financial week from January 14 to January 18, 2019. I predicted that there was a Brexit vote in the middle of the week in Britain. And this Brexit vote was huge, huge event in the world, huge event in the financial markets. So usually when it comes to these political decisions, there comes usually a trend reversal because before the vote market expect certain things. I expected now that market would go down before the voting and then up after the voting. That exactly what it happens. I expected that S&P 500 futures would go down to $2,500. It didn't go there. It got just $2,500. And 67 and then it got up light predicted then I predict that crude oil would go down to uh, 49.8 dollars it got to 50.42 dollars so it get down but not that much like I predicted uh, then I got I made a prediction that Bitcoin versus USD on Bitfinex would go down on early week to 3,300, it didn't get there, but it got up. Then I made another prediction that it would go up to 3,600, and that was correct. Then I made a last prediction uh, on gold, that gold would go up to $1,300. It got uh, $3 away from it, so very, very close still. So. What I want you to remember this on this video, take a close attention on your personal cycles. You don't know, don't know, have to know all of your cycles. But let's say on Friday, I do not know how the Friday usually comes about. So I don't make any trades on Friday and lots of professionals do not make any trades on Friday because I don't know, is that some kind of, sort of a jinx? But on Friday, that is a different different day, usually compared to the uh, midweek. Because on Friday, people may get early vacation and the news hit the market. Nothing uh, it could be that nothing happens just because people are not uh, focusing on anymore in the markets. They are just preparing for the weekend. So Friday is not the day when I trade at all. Okay, pay attention to those personal cycles, what you have, what uh, time of year you are at your best, uh, when is and when you're not at your best. And those are the times for resting and making plans for the future and educate yourself. Okay, hope you learned something new from this video and hope you like this video. If you want to contact me, you can find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, on Google, plus my own name and my company name on Facebook, Rosmet.oy, and on Finnish, opilakia.fi. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.